Uh, welcome again to the topic for extension. Uh, my name is Dr. Jacinta, and today's topic will look at bedbugs, the least suspected uh, parasites uh, or pests of poultry. And one might ask, what are bedbugs? So bedbugs are small uh, wingless, uh, flat uh, objects uh, or insects that affect uh, mammals like human beings and the birds. And when they are on their back, they try to look for something to attach on. But when they are on their feet, they move very fast, looking for something to attach on. And if that, and if they get something like pottery, they attach, sucking blood. And you see pottery uh, pecking uh, into their feathers, trying to remove them. So, uh, why are bedbugs being talked about in the 21st century? This is because there appear to be a reemergence of these uh, insects are uh, going by the number and types of uh, insecticides used against these uh, pests. And what could have brought this about? One of the reasons is the close proximity between chicken and people because the bedbugs affect both chicken and and, 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 and people. And this is brought about by the small scale production uh, farming systems where birds are not left to sleep in their, in their houses at night because of fear of uh, predation and insecurity from left. And there is also resistance of the commonly insect used insecticides uh, against the bed bugs. So how are bedbugs introduced to a place? This is done through uh, things like clothing. Somebody comes with a bag of uh, clothes from an infected place to a new place. Bedbugs might be carried with the clothes and they infect the new place. They can also come in with pottery equipment like feeders and so on. They can also come with the materials, uh, farm materials like manure and once introduced into a place, they establish themselves and they cause uh, problems. So why are bedbugs feared so much? Bedbugs suck blood, a lot of blood. So when uh, birds are affected by bedbugs, they spend a lot of time uh, scratching because of the, the bite and the irritation the bite causes. And this one makes them take less time feeding and therefore there is decreased production, let's say in egg production, or if they are meat animals, the weight loss, there is weight loss, and therefore there is loss uh, through weight loss. And this is complicated by the fact that bedbugs are very difficult to identify in chicken, and even in human beings, because the, the pests, unlike other pests, they don't dwell on the animal's body. They hide in the dwelling place of the animal, uh, like the, where the, the birds spend their night, or in the, the bedroom, or in the sitting room where people sit, and they don't move with the people. So when you find yourself scratching and you can't see anything, uh, and you see, bar, or you see birds scratching and you can't see the offending the parasite, most likely it is bed bugs. Bed bugs also cause a lot of irritation. So Apart from blood sucking, even when it's not sucking you, maybe sometimes it is sucked the blood at night. During the day, you are also scratching and you can't see the offending uh, object. The only way you can know that there are bed bugs is that there is a scratching uh, and you can't see the offending object. And when you say, check in the dwelling place or in the where people spend a lot of time or the birds spend a lot of time, you check in the cracks and the crevices, you will see either the the brown moving uh, parasites or the afico material, which is brownish, darkish in color, or you might see their eggs. And this one can be done through that checking, let's say using a torch or a spotlight, because they are always hiding. You might not see them growing about. So how do we control bed bugs? This is done by eliminating the infected materials. Like you find that some hens are put uh, somewhere to lay their, uh, to lie on their eggs so that they hatch, and the bedding material used could harbor the bedbugs. So 
So if you find these hens are scratching and you identify bed bugs, the best way uh, to eliminate them, one is to uh, burn that material. And then green uh, or, or seal the cracks and the crevices in the nearby uh, areas. And also examine, make a habit of examining any incoming material for bed bugs so that when you find them, uh, you can be able to eliminate them using uh, insecticides. In the sleeping places of birds, especially in the small scale production, using a wire mesh straw is better than using racks or, uh, or patches because the birds will not have anywhere to hide uh, during the night when they mostly affect the animals. Finally, uh, in combination with these things, you can use uh, insecticides. There are still some insecticides that uh, still kill, kill bed bugs and you might be forced to use them. So uh, bed bugs are very difficult to eliminate because first of all, you have to identify them and identifying them, as I have said, is difficult because they don't dwell on the animal's body. But I hope these measures will assist you in eliminating the bed bugs. So this brings me to the end of today's presentation. I hope it has been informative. Uh, if you have liked it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to share it with others. And if you are new to this channel that takes a grants at the past, present, future and technical issues in agriculture, I just subscribe so that you can be up. Thank you.